Hey everybody, welcome to Afterwards for episode three of Relics of the Homeland, my elf-tastic threshold universe romp. Um, so yeah, this episode went uh, very differently than how I thought, um, and that was probably good. Um, I had actually intended to create enough urgency for them to, uh, like, I, I gave them the uh, the other Nexus stones a little later in the game than I probably should have, but I intended for them to go through that uh, old portal and end up in an uncharted area of the Nexus, um, which would have been interesting, but uh, it was pretty cool. They, they ran for it. It created a nice climactic moment when they were uh, trying to get through the portal, and... Uh, and then it gave them a little more time to role play along the safer Nexus route that they took back. Um, I had a few, you know, like, tears and stuff. I wanted to see maybe if Josh fumbled the tear, I would have given him a few elementals to fight or something like that. But uh, I was pretty happy with having, you know, less combat in this one and just letting him kind of interact as characters. That was actually a lot of fun to watch. Um, and then, yeah, we got him back to... Uh, to Domus Batram a little earlier than I intended, because I was actually planning on having him have another session, probably worth of uh, of adventures in Uncharted Nexus Land before they got back there. But that's okay. It's fun. Um, I still got most of what I wanted to do. They, uh, it's funny. They actually, it's weird to have players not want to explore for loot as much as I think they will. They left like two or three magic items undiscovered in that lab. None of them were really very essential, but you know, like I had a, let's see, uh, they have the alchemy jug, which is fun, but I, you know, I had like some sovereign glue that was on there. Um, the the manticles are like, I think they're called manticles of planar binding, but that were above the enchanting station. Nobody really had a look at those. Um, you know, just like little stuff that I feel like someone who is researching all of this binding and stuff would have in their lab. And then the alchemy jug is just too much fun. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm probably just gonna give that back to Vox once uh, once the church has had a little time to play with it because that's a lot of fun. It, it, again, the alchemy jug was sort of a trap for Josh because I know he's always wanting like those weird items and stuff, but the character he's playing is so not interested in that stuff. So it's, it's, it's really interesting just uh, watching Josh play a totally different character and, and a character who's sort of contradictory to his nature. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with sort of the antagonistic way that the party is dealing with each other. I hope that when I start throwing things at them that they're not necessarily getting paid for, uh, the party doesn't just fall apart. But we'll roll with that when it happens. If it happens, it'll probably happen. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm really excited for a little town time next episode, and then we're going to throw them back into the wilds probably. Um, you'll see that when it happens. But yeah, that's uh, that's all I got for afterwards this time around. Thanks for dropping by. This uh, this has been afterwards for episode three, Relics of the Homeland. Uh, check us out on next Monday for episode four. And then we'll you know do our question comments and afterwards Tuesday Wednesday just like always. Uh, thanks you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.